Hello everyone. Welcome to Big Data Thoughts. Today we are going to talk about a very trending topic which is DevSecOps. In the past I have done video on what is DevOps but today we are going to talk about an extension to that which is DevSecOps in under 10 minutes. What is DevSecOps? How did it come into picture? What are the benefits etc. So let's get started. First of all let us just revise what we looked at about DevOps so that we can enhance on top of that and talk about DevSecOps. So in any project a developer would be developing code and then checking in, uh, into a repository, any kind of version control system, after which they will do their unit testing. So the development is done, they've checked in the code, they do unit testing and then they build the code and deploy it. Now when I say deploy, there can be multiple environments where they keep on deploying. So from dev environment, uh, they will deploy to test environment, after testing they will deploy to production. So this entire process from where the developer starts coding and checking in till deployment to multiple environments and then maintaining that entire thing can be automated and that pipeline is known as DevOps. And this concept has been adopted very widely because of the benefits it provides in terms of flexibility, ease of maintenance, etc. Now this is DevOps. but why do we then need DevSecOps? Now we have built this pipeline, but have we forgotten something here? Or is there some loophole in this pipeline? Yes, there is. So what is that? Now when we develop our pipelines, we deploy to different environments, there can be potential threats to it. There can be people who are trying to target our application and gain access to it. So there are multiple things that we need to keep in mind from security perspective, even though our code is foolproof in terms of functionality and it's working, but security is also a very, very important aspect. So things like vulnerabilities, sensitive data, licensing, if we are using some third party software, is the licensing aspect taken care of? Are we handling data which is sensitive? So we have to build certain authorization, authentication mechanisms, cert certificates, there can be n number of things related to security that is not there today in the DevOps pipeline. So that needs to be integrated. So that's why we say that we want DevSecOps, a DevOps pipeline which is integrated along with security. So let's look at an example why it was needed. Now you have a version of your app which is version 1.0 that you release. And now you ask your security admin to look at it from security perspective. The security admin is going to take certain amount of time. It may be days, it may be weeks, depending on how many checks and balances the security admin has to look at. But when we are talking about a DevOps pipeline, it's a very fast uh, moving pipeline, which means it's agile in the terms of releasing versions of your app. It's not taking a lot of time. So by the time the security admin is actually doing the security checks and validating your app version one, you have already come up with the next version and the next version. So it's all getting piled up and your DevOps cycle is getting slowed because you have not integrated security and it is going back and forth between a security admin and the security team may not be able to cope up with the speed in which you are releasing versions of your application due to DevOps automated pipelines. So that's the whole issue. The lag, uh, you know, the timeline lag, the effort that is taken at the end of the cycle Okay, that gave rise to a need to have security embedded in the DevOps pipeline. So essentially, then the birth of DevSecOps happened, which is nothing but introducing security earlier in the software development life cycle. So development plus security plus operations. DevOps was development plus operation. DevSecOps is a upgraded version, we can say of DevOps, which is development, security and operations having security inbuilt into our DevOps pipeline from the beginning rather than waiting till the end of it. This will help in remediating a lot of problems or bottlenecks that we will face if we go at the end of the pipeline after deployment to dev environment or unit testing environment or test environment to look at security. So that is DevSecOps. We have three roles which are working here, the developer, the security personnel and the operational people. So DevOps, when we spoke about, we looked at it, that's the merging of these roles. So that's where DevSecOps also operates. It is developer security and operations. Now, 
the security person acts as a consultant to the developers and the ops people to keep those checks and balances in place from the security perspective from the beginning of the pipeline so this kind of eliminates any kind of delays that will happen when we give the application to the security personnel later on as an afterthought here the developer whoever is developing the application also keeps in mind all the security guidelines and takes care from his or her side now this is nothing but if i summarize devsecops it is automating security gates to keep the devops workflow from slowing down we don't want the devops workflow to slow down because security is an afterthought we integrate security into the devops pipeline and make it a devsecops pipeline so that along with our development testing security is also embedded and we can take the advantage of the faster cycle that a devops uh, culture provides now what are the benefits of devsecops definitely agility responsiveness and there is no isolation of security team so the security team does not come in the end but they are rather embedded from the beginning it's again a shared responsibility between the three personas we don't have to really wait until the final stage of development to think about security and do the changes so it's always as a integrated step within the pipeline now if i have to define devsecops in some other terms it will be security as code <laughs> which means the security just like in a devops pipeline what we do we are now automating the development release maintenance testing all of these processes uh, we are automating it similarly security comes in and we are saying that we are taking care of the entire life cycle of an application from all perspectives whether it is from development from functional testing from data testing to security there are automated test suites that are built regressions uh, test suites that we can build and integrate in our devops pipeline so all in all it's a devops pipeline along with security so that's a very quick snapshot of what devsecops is and why it is getting prevalent is because of uh, the need to make all these cycles of deployment very very fast efficient automated and quick so that's all for today uh, a quick snapshot on devsecops i hope this helps uh, please like share and subscribe to the channel and uh, so that you get more interesting videos thank you so much